Uh, this is Edward from Hong Kong Excel. Okay, so this video I'll teach you to, uh, the concept and also the exam question type for IB, for IB trigonometry, okay? So uh, I'll teach you two things today. So the first thing is special angle, special angle. And the second thing is the CAST, okay? So special angle, what does it mean? It's 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree, okay? So if I ask you, let's say sine 30, without using calculator, you need to know the answer, okay? Sine 45 equals how many, okay? Tangent 60 equals how many? Without using calculator, can you find out the value of this one? So some schools will teach you to memorize a table, okay? It's very, very troublesome, okay? So today I'll review the skill for you. Only two triangle, then you only need to memorize two triangle, and then you can memorize all the angles, okay? So the first angle, the first triangle, okay, is what we call the 2-2-2 two, two, two triangle, okay? So 2-2-2 two, two, two triangle, then obviously the angle here is 60, right? 60, all 60, yeah? Okay, so if I draw a line here, a middle line, then it will separate the base into half, right? So this one, two divided by two, that will be just one here, yeah? So, and this one is 90 degree, yeah? And here, the angle left, 180 minus all that, must be 30 degree, right? And only left is this side. So how do you calculate this side? You have learned Pythagoras theorem. So it's two square minus one square. So just square root four minus one. So it will be just square root three, yeah? So you have this triangle. So after I memorize this, how does that help me to find out sine, let's say 30? So we all know that Sokatoa, okay? So Toa. So what does it mean, Sokatoa? So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, okay? Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent, opposite over adjacent. So don't say you, under, you, you don't know this one, okay? So uh, this one is very, very basic, okay? So sine opposite, okay, over hypotenuse, right? So sine 30, one over two. And then for cosine, let's say cosine 30, 30 degree. So cosine 30, adjacent. Adjacent side over two. So then it will be root three over two. That's it, yeah? So this is how you find out the value by using the triangle here. So if next time I ask you tangent 60, what do you get? Then it will be uh, opposite over adjacent. So it will be root three over one. That's it, yeah? But how about if next time I ask you sine 45 degree, sine 45 degree. So for this triangle, we don't have 45 degree, right? So we have to memorize another triangle that is, the one, one root two triangle, one, one root two triangle is isosceles triangle. So this is right angle, right? And here, then how many degree? Then it must be 45 and 45 because they have the same side, right? So it's easy, sine 45. Then it will be opposite over hypotenuse. So one over root two, yeah? So this is what you need to know, okay? So cosine 45, then you have adjacent over hypotenuse, one over root two, yeah? Okay, but some students may ask me, can I refer to this angle? Yeah, obviously you can, because cosine 45, adjacent is one over root two. You would have the same answer as well, okay? So this is the way, okay? So that I think is the easiest way to memorize a special angle, okay? So, and uh, what does it mean by the CAST here? So cast rule, right? Okay. So cast rule only applies to Okay, this, yeah, it's a circle like this, a circular trigonometry, right? So let's say zero to here is 90 degree, okay? So always calculate the angle um, anti-clockwise, okay? And this one is 180 degree, yeah? And then here is uh, 270 and then 360. So the symbol here, A stands for all positive, sine positive, tangent positive, cosine positive, okay? So let's say if I uh, draw a triangle right here, so let's use uh, one, one root two triangle, okay? So here is 45 degree, yeah? Okay, so if I say cosine 45, what do you get? Then you have one over root two, right? And then sine 45, you have opposite over hypotenuse, one over root two as well, right? And for tangent 45 degree, then you have opposite over adjacent. So it's all, you can see, the number here, they're all positive, yeah? So if I flip the triangle to the left-hand side, flip the triangle to the left-hand side here, yeah? So 45 degree right here. And this one is the radius, so this is root two, and this is one, because they have the same y here, yeah? Okay, and finally, this is one here, right? And if flip to the left-hand side, then it will be minus one, okay? So if I ask you in this case, so how do we calculate the angle? This side, 
always anti-clockwise, right? So that will be 180 minus 45. Okay, so we can say it's 135 degree, right? So if I ask you sine 135 degree, then what do you get? Same thing, sine is always opposite over hypotenuse, right? So it's one over over two. But if cosine 135, then you can see the difference because cosine 135 here, right, is adjacent over hypotenuse is minus one over root two. So minus one over root two. Then you have a negative value, yeah? Negative value. So that's why here we write S because S only sign is positive, right? Okay, so all you need to know is the one, three, five here is zero to the side, okay? Although here is uh, 45 degree. Um, but you can see here is 135, so 0 to 135. We we'll always calculate, calculate the angle from this side anti-clockwise, okay? So for cosine is negative, and for tangent 135, it will be also negative because 1 over minus 1, then it will be minus 1, right? Okay, so you can see if next time I give you cosine um, 250 degree, so even you don't know the answer, you can tell me it's positive or negative because 250 is actually 180 plus something here, right? Okay, then it will be in tangent regions. Cosine 250 will be negative value, right? So if uh, sine 250 degree, it will be positive or negative. In tangent region, it will be negative, right? So if uh, tangent um, 120 degree, so is it positive or negative? 120 is in the sine region, right? Then it will be negative, yeah? So how about cosine 300 degree? Is positive or negative? So 300. So it's right here, and cosine region, then it will be positive, right? So this is the concept you need to know, okay? So, and finally, I'll just uh, tell you one more exam question type, okay? Then uh, let's say sine x is equal to one over three, okay? And then find cosine x if x is between pi, uh, between a 90 degree to 180 degree, okay? So this is the question type you see in the IB exam. So we have the sine x equals to one third. So how do you find cosine x, right? So sine x, so you can draw, always draw a right angle triangle. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. So this is x, this is one and three. So you can assign uh, this one the x or this one the x, it doesn't matter, okay? So opposite and over hypotenuse. So how do you find cosine x? So obviously we have to find out the adjacent side, right? So it's three square minus one square, square root. 9 minus 1, what do you get? 9 minus 1 is root 8. Okay, but many students just write cosine x is equal to root 8 over 3. That is wrong. Why? Because the x here already specified the range is 90 degree to 180 degree, right? 90 to 180. So that's why in this region, 90 to 180, right? Is in sine region. So that's why cosine must be negative. Yeah? Okay? So. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, if you want more question type on the trigonometry, like uh, unit circles and also um, the factorization questions, and you can just go uh, register the free trial lesson, okay? So on a trigonometry. And I'll give you the concept notes and also exam question as well. So in the, uh, the 1.5 hour video, we'll explore all the question types and you ace all the question types, okay? So I'll see you next time.